What is up guys? So today we're going to talk about three reasons why your photos suck and how to improve them. So reason number one is you're lazy. So you keep on taking the same photos. You keep on going to random locations, walking around and relying on complete luck to get you a good photo. And that is kind of the reason why your photos suck is because you keep on repeating the same process and you're never improving, never actually gaining more experiences, never attempting different things to improve your photography. So how to improve on that is to actually go out and put some thought into your photos. So sketch it out, plan it, go buy props, go find different locations, go look on Pinterest, actually go and get some inspiration out there and attempt new things. Keep on trying new things. Don't just constantly go out to the same spots, taking the same photos in a fucking bush, going out and expecting it to be different. It's not going to change because you are not attempting to change it. So that is one of the biggest things why people's photos suck and how you can improve it is actually just do something different. So reason number two why photos suck, and I see it with a lot of people, is a lot of photos are great, but they need that extra push. So reason number two is you need to up your editing. You need to actually spend some time in post and working the photo. So a lot of people tend to take a photo and leave it at that. And that to me is the saddest thing is because you spend so much time out there taking the photo, putting in the effort, like I said beforehand about being lazy, putting in the effort, getting the prop, getting the location, getting the narrative and getting the story and emotion in the photos. And then you come home and you just kind of like, oh, I'm gonna tweak it a little bit on Lightroom and whoopie fuck, it's gonna look different. It's gonna be this amazing photo. No, you need to work at it a bit. You need to spend more time on Lightroom. You need to spend more time on Photoshop. You need to tweak it until it conveys the emotion that you're looking for. And the best way to improve it is go watch tutorials, go watch workshops, go to workshops, go, go on YouTube. It's full of tutorials, even on my channel, even on other people's channel. Just go out there and go look for some stuff. Look for how to work Photoshop. Look for how to work Lightroom and edit the photo until it's done and be very critical about your photos be honest to yourself and actually look at the photo and be like hey i could have done better let's tweak it a little bit don't just take oh i'm gonna take this photo because it looks somewhat good and sometimes even the shit photos done in photoshop come out phenomenal be honest with yourself about how you shot the photo and then work it in post to get it to that next level don't let all that hard work out in the field be stopped with you being lazy and not editing. <sighs> and now for one of my all time favorite reasons why your photos suck, why people complain that their photos aren't good and why people use this as an excuse. Number three, fuck gear. Gear doesn't make you a good photographer. No, sure. A lot of people are like, oh no, but you shoot on an ESR. You've got lighting, you've got this. And people always go at me like, Yes, you've got all the toys, so you can't really say fuck yeah. Um, yes, I can. I started off on a 700D and I still worked it and I still learned how to use my equipment properly. It's all about learning how to use your equipment. Don't let your gear stop you from taking good photos because at the end of the day, all you do is capturing emotion. Gear and pixels don't make up a good photo. It's about emotion, it's about the narrative, and it's about lighting. Lighting is key. That is one of the biggest things people fail on. Learn lighting, then you'll get good photos. Gear doesn't matter. Gear doesn't do shit. You can make, make great photos in natural light and you don't need the big studio lights that I have. I use them because they make my life easier. That is why you should get gear. Not to take good photos, but to make the photo taking process easier. And that is why I say, fuck gear, stop making that excuse for yourself. And to me, to get, for me, one of the best ways to, that I'd say for you to get over the whole gear issue is actually to go out and fuck up. To actually go and go shoot something and learn from mistakes. But also start doing that and actually looking at the photos so that you can see why 
they aren't good. Actually analyzing the photo and then you'll understand why you need new gear. So actually going out and seeing, okay, putting the thought into it, what light did I need? What emotion am I conveying? That's how you improve it. What emotion am I conveying? What's the narrative and how I'm gonna light it? Two big things, best things that you need to figure out are those three things and that will get you a good photo. So those are my top three things of why your photos suck and even mine. I'm not even singling you guys out. I need to learn from these things as well sometimes. I forget them, I do get lazy and I don't put in the effort. All of this is about putting in the fucking effort. So I'm gonna leave it all for out there guys. Hope to see you guys in the comments down below. If you haven't yet subscribed, if you guys enjoyed this type of video and hope to see you guys next time. Peace.